right, so I am working on my uh, nature themed journal. It's kind of more of a mystical forest, foresty, mystical forest. Okay, so what I have here is I have a piece of paper, just scrapbooking paper, but it was only one sided. It's got this lovely fawn color on this side, but the other side was white. So what I did was I covered it with book pages and then on top of the book pages I laid a napkin. Um, so this is a napkin that I just glued on top and because of the white spaces here of the ends of the wood you can actually see some of the words coming through there. So and my napkin didn't quite make it to the edges of the page uh, but that's okay. You know, actually, I think it adds to it. It's just another bit of design. So now I'm just trying to decorate the page, and that's what I've been kind of working on here. So I had some ideas. I've got um, this is actually an index card, it's a larger index card that I tea stained a while ago. I thought I could add that right there as a writing spot and then possibly decorate around it. I pulled off some fabric. I figured I need a little bit of color here. I have a big runner got at a store a long time ago, mainly because of this lovely edging, um, but I just ripped part of it off. <laughs> it's really long. It goes on and on and on and on forever. Um, I'll be years before I can use all that up, especially if I use little bits like this, but I also was recently given this, which is a sticker. I found some other little bits, so I'm just going to try, I'm going to try and piece this together to piece something together, play with it. First thing, for the ink, I'm going to use Peeled Paint, uh, which is my favorite green at the moment. I'm looking for my green daughter, and do you think I can find it? No. What's this one? Getting better at organizing my inks. Not there yet. Better, not best yet. There we go. Very good. Add a little color. I'll do just some green on the edges. This is kind of a yellowier green. Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Um, it's a brighter green. There you go. Add just a bit of color into there. Not a lot, not a ton. Kind of trying to be subtle. Now let's glue it. Use this. I don't get glue all over my journal. Just get on this book page, and when the book page gets all sticky, let's use a different book page. And just keep going. I like using the book pages because they're not huge. They're usually big enough that I can do the gluing that I need to do. And they don't take a ton of space because I have a teeny weeny little desk. What you see is kind of what I have to work with. I have a little bit more over there. That's kind of where I keep the supplies I'm working on. In fact, I use the floor. Um, I have a lot on the floor in baskets keep my supplies and baskets and um this will be on the floor right next to me and then when i'm done creating the baskets get set right here <laughs> on top so i can actually walk on my floor okay well let's see i've got this bit which i thought maybe i could put there maybe i could put nope actually i think i think i kind of like there like that. And then Mr. Rabbit scissors. Um, maybe down here. And add a bit more texture with the rabbit scissors. Put it under. Put it on top. Put it next to. Not use it at all. Oh boy. Too many options. I don't want to put it too close to the crease because I don't want to cause some issues in my binding when I go to close the book up. So, well, I 
think that kind of works. I think it does. We'll do that. This is a little too long. I like that it's a little raggedy. So we'll just kind of keep its raggediness. And we'll glue. Just going to glue straight down there. And and I'm not too concerned with putting glue over the entire thing because I don't mind if it sticks up a little bit on the edges because again, going for the raggedy look. I just want to make sure there's enough glue that it stays attached to the page. That's my goal. Stay attached to the page. Okay. Make sure it's stuck. All right. So we'll lift this up for now. I should probably make sure it's actually how I want it. It is. So what I'm gonna do because I really like. I found the right angle. I found the angle that I like is and I'm gonna make sure you can actually see it. So I'm just gonna lift this corner up and I'm gonna glue the lace onto that bottom piece. It's gonna like hold it in place for me. Oh I actually went all the way through and glued actually kind of glued both pieces down. Good. So I'm gonna work on the bottom piece now. Again, I don't need to glue the entire thing down, just enough to hold it in a place. It's fabric. I don't mind a bit of raggediness with it. Just don't want it falling off. There we go. And now we'll glue the lace down. So it's tacked down there. If I just flip it over and glue to the back of it. Hold on, don't go flying anywhere. There we go. I'll just let it fall back over. Excellent. Extra glue off of there. And I'm pretty sure this is a sticker. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's one of those. Oh, it is a sticker. Okay. I'm not going to trust its stickeriness. Um, especially down here where it's touching the fabric. So I'm going to add some glue on the bottom half of it. I don't think I have to do the whole thing because I'm pretty confident it'll stick to the paper. I'm more concerned about where it's sticking to that fabric. And yep. Stick it down. Good. And then because I just noticed uh, Raise it up. <laughs> it actually says to wish you a happy Easter. <laughs> Just noticed that. Also, the glue kind of came through the fabric here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to find just a bit of ribbon or trim or something to just cover that up a wee bit. Not in love with that. Hold on. Oh, I'm reaching over to the floor. That's what the groaning is. <laughs> Can you hear me groaning? Oh. oh. <laughs> yep. Reaching down there onto the floor. Christmas time. I picked up some new ribbon. I don't think I want to use brown. I need something with some texture, I think. This is velvet. Ooh, it's green velvet. Get it open. 
Okay, got some lovely green velvet. And I just could, let's play with this for a minute. What I'm thinking. Cut it at an angle. Both sides. Let's try it. Let's just see. There we go. And I can glue that there. It'll cover up those Easter words. It'll cover up the glue. And it adds just a little bit touch of that velvety mess right there. Now once once you've opened one of these, let's see if I have one. My trick that I've learned over the years is to put a rubber band on this. Saddles, I seem to be out of rubber bands, which means it's just going to fly everywhere. That's okay. I'll get a rubber band later. I'll just run a rubber band around there and I'll hold it in place. I don't have to worry about it. All right, let's glue this baby down. Glue, 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 glue. Again, I'm going to check that crease. I don't want it too close to my crease. I don't want to get stuck in the crease. Okay, there we go. If I wanted to, I have some really tiny words. I could possibly put words on there, but then you would lose the ability to feel that. And it feels lovely. So we're just going to leave that like that. Okay. It is one page done. Let's go to this page. So I don't know if this will be in the center. I kind of doubt it'll be in the center. So I don't think you'll see both pages at the same time. I was thinking, I mean, there's a lot going on there. So I wanted to keep it sort of simple. Um, someone had given this to me. Ooh. Julia Ward. Okay. So I thought about repurposing this here. And because it's just like a plain brown, it's plainer over top all the busyness. And then decorate it up a bit. So again, I went thrifting. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can show you this. I'll try and pull it out. So I found a shirt. It's uh let's see if I can lay this down. Okay. It's actually a button-down shirt, but look at all these fabric, all these fabulous designs. I've got some flowers here, embroidery, I've got all of this running here, all that, then down here, there's even more. That and we got this gorgeousness right there, isn't it beautiful? That's only half the shirt, too. Yes, I know, very, very cool shirt. Okay, so brought that home with me. So I am thinking if I put a bit of the fabric here on this to help decorate it. So let's let's decide what we're going to use. Actually, look at there is this little triangle right here with this flower. Although I almost want to save that for another page. I might save that. I might, I might. Kind of like the squiggles. The squiggles are pretty cool. Of course, now I have to cut into this. The dreaded cut. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look up here. I just found this little flower a bit there. Let's play with that. Let's see if I can do something with that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut into it. Oh my goodness, it's my first time cutting into it. You ever have that first time cutting feeling? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Except I just bought this shirt only for this purpose. It doesn't even fit me. I couldn't wear it, even if I wanted to. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut off the whole thing. I'm probably not going to use all the fabric, but 
till I know what I'm doing exactly with it. And keep all that fabric. Ooh, there we go. All right. So there's our V little flower. It is pretty. So I'm thinking we're going to cut this top fabric off. I'm just going to kind of be a little wonky about it. Don't want a straight edge. There we go. That's looking good, so we need something with it. Don't you agree? I agree. I'm looking over in the paper bits, bits of paper. See what I have over here. No, I don't want brown on brown. I have this fantastic handmade paper. See, the green is just too different. That's going to be weird. I don't want that. Well, then. Nothing's speaking to me. Have you ever had that moment where nothing just really jumps out at you? I don't really want to put more image with the image. Okay. Book page. You know, we honestly could just could it just be the flower? Because I'm gonna put a tag in here, and I'm also thinking a tag here. That's what I'm thinking. But how about a little creature? How about let me see if I can find a little animal to stick with this flower. So I've got here a box of fussy cut things. Oh. Here. Hmm. Got an owl. Ooh, I have a rabbit, but he is a really little rabbit. I feel like I need something a little bit bigger. It's a pretty one, too big. Oh, <laughs> here's something a little bigger. He's pretty big. Too big, I think. You're too big. Too big. Alright. Too big. Do you have some images here? No. Oh, let's take these guys. Not loving that. Well, I might have to think on that one. Maybe we need a little trim with it. I do have that trim from the long table. See, sometimes this is just what happens in the process, you know? Sometimes the process works easily and sometimes it doesn't. Do a little trim there. I'm gonna take all of that. It would just be this little bit of trim here across the top. So these beads are so thick and they will add, they'll add a lot to your journal thickness wise. Okay, we'll find another trim. Oh, why don't we use a bit of, yep. I'm going to use a bit of linens. I don't think this is quite the right one. Let's go there. See if I can find another one that will work and make me happy. I feel like we need... Nope. 
So I have next to my desk, I don't know if I can show this, I've got a tub with just linens that I um, pull off of, cut off of, and use in my journals. It's deep. It goes down deep. There's all sorts of stuff in there. I don't even know if that's in focus. So I'm just digging through my linens and see if I see anything. I like that I think I can use with this flower. These are all too white. Too, too, too white. <clears throat> There's a bit. Oh, there we go. I do like that. And if put it just a little bit lower with the flower, we actually can make another wee little pocket right there. It could be a third pocket. I do like that idea. All right. Well, then we are going to stick with that idea. We're sticking with it. Okay. So I want this to be a pocket on this side. So I'm going to put glue here, here, and here. This side for no glue. any extra glue I'm getting on there. Ooh. This wants to bow up a lot. I may have to let this sit with something on it, holding it down, because it wants to keep pulling up from the paper. So I will get the rest of this glued on here, and then I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'm going to let this set and We'll put something on it to hold it down so it can set in place. And I'm going to turn this into a pocket, so I'm just going to go around the edges. It's going to be a wee little pocket. Very little. I won't be able to put anything huge in it. But sometimes those little, little details um, mean a lot. So, of course I put it too high up. And then I'm going to glue our fabric flower down. Now one of the reasons I'm putting so much fabric on these pages is because it's a double thickness. Um, it's a much thicker paper because I started with the paper, the scrapbook paper, and then I glued book pages onto it, and then I glued a napkin onto it. So not only does it have the layer of paper and napkin, also has a layer of glue on it, making it thicker and more able to hold up to the weight of the fabrics on it. I am going to weigh this down and let it dry and then I can work on filling it with tags and little bits. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching!